Hello Internet, Magic Man here again from MMOBomb.com bringing you another first look video. This time it's for the highly anticipated Revelation Online from My.com. Now the game is currently in closed beta test 1 which is supposed to run for a couple of weeks here. Uh, and a few more closed beta tests uh, al uh, along the way afterwards. So this is my sword mage that I've created, level 16. It was a little higher than that but they had to do a... Uh, Brief maintenance for about 40 minutes earlier, and it rolled back a couple of things. So we're going to spend about 20 minutes or so in here checking out the game. Now, I will tell you as a disclaimer, please treat this first look as a uh, more an introductory, introductory uh, look to the game. Because there's an awful lot of work to be done here still. Now, obviously, in closed beta, you expect cues and bugs and oddball things like that. Uh, but there is an awful lot of localization that just has... Has not been done yet. A lot of text showing up in Chinese, uh, a lot of text showing up in what I think every once in a while what's Russian, and then there's some areas where it's not even a language at all. So it, just bear with me. There's going to be some systems that I just can't speak to in this particular first look. So the plan here is I wanted to get you guys and gals a look at Revelation Online from day one uh, and have it up there for you. Uh, we will be revisiting this one in the coming months and doing a first look update when some of these systems like the skill encyclopedia and stuff are fully translated and localized into English. So, you've got one of six classes on your character select screen and you could go ahead and you can click them right in the, the view there and scroll back out with your scroll wheel if you want or you can just select them right from the bottom. The occultist, and it shows you what their specialties are. Range, ranged melee magic attack, healing support, uh, growth orientation is more healing support and magic attack. You got your spirit shaper. Oh, she's there. So cute. Our vanguard, the big mighty plate wearers, the blade master, a master of swords. And it shows you their difficulty too once you've clicked in. The gunslinger, and what I've been playing is the Sword Mage. Damn dat cleavage. Anyway, let's jump in and go to character creation. Uh, we'll create a Vanguard here. So we'll click on Vanguard, head to next. As you can already see graphically, the game does have some, uh, some very nice graphics. Uh, all kinds of resolutions are supported, even above 1980, 2080. I play on an ultra-wide monitor. It looks beautiful on an ultra-wide monitor. And all of your classes can be male or female. So on the left side of your screen, you're picking from one of three male body types to start with. However, the third one is not available yet. And then on the female side, for this particular class, you again have two female body types that are selectable and one that is not. That was a little bit different on my sword mage. I, I think there was only one female or one male. So some of the body types may not be available yet. So uh, let's go ahead and create a male. Which body type do I like better? Uh, they look very similar. All right, we'll go with that one. And then you start your actual customization. You've got a number of different poses you can put your character in. Reset it to what it was at the beginning. Take a look at previewing some various equipment. And of course your wings, which will play into your later gameplay at level 30 and beyond, you'll get your wings. Uh, you do have quite a dynamic range of motion before you get your wings anyway. So you'll be jumping and gliding your way. Now we can pick from our body presets. In this case, uh, flip through and find one you like. Or you can go through and make some changes on your own. Pick your own hairstyle. Uh, all of a sudden, we've made him... I mean, that looks ridiculously female in the face. And the hair. So maybe let's go with a little... <laughs> what the hell is that? Uh, bald? It's a very delicate featured male. Uh, and of course, select your hair color. You can go through and do the same thing with skin, not only picking the color, but the luster. So the bit of shine on your skin and the brightness doesn't seem to be doing much. 
adjust your torso with all kinds of sliders. So you're not just playing with presets here. When you pick the female class, obviously there are multiple boob sliders. There is a chest slider for the size, then there is the up down, and then there is the side to side, like pointing. I mean, there's, you can customize the hell out of your boobs. So if you're a lady and you're looking to get that exact look of how you look in real life onto your avatar, you could probably do it with the sliders. And if you're a sick ass male and you just want to play with fake boobs, you could do that too. So either way, boobs people are happy. Legs, here you go. Mess with the ass. Wait, what is it? Unfortunately, I mean, you know, no dick slider, I guess. Yeah, it's sexism. Uh, there's your body height and width. So you've got everything, and you could go, of, of course, just random this bad boy up if you want to. Uh, let's go ahead and reset this. Uh, let's cancel. Let's go to its last save, which we saw. You saw it saving it as we went. And we're just going to roll with that. Create that character. And we'll give him a name. And we're jumping in game. Now, in a few minutes, uh, after we get some basic uh, functionality of the game out of the way so that you can see how it plays, we will jump to my sword mage. Simply because I want to get you off of Tutorial Island and show you some of the actual first zone. Uh, at level 16, 17-ish, somewhere around there. <clears throat> In the meantime, though, we may have to bear through a cutscene or two. Some of them can't be skipped. Like, this one that's starting can be. So you can press escape and skip it. Fair warning, though, and it will tell you this if you try to skip all the cutscenes. There's actually a currency that you are rewarded with, a lore-type currency, for watching the cutscenes. So you may want to stick with those, uh, watching the cutscenes to get those currencies. There are multiple control types here. You've got your traditional WASD movement and camera rotation tied to your right mouse, holding your right mouse button down. You've got your uh, very... Uh, traditional mouse click movement left click somewhere on the terrain and your character goes by default you're on the recommended non-target camera rotation this is kind of your soft target um, action combat type camera and it even tells you recommended for players used to dragon's nest blade and soul terra style controls uh, and the recommended class that they use this for is the blade master vanguard and gunslinger that is not preventing you from doing like i play with that on my sword mage it's fine so we're gonna take that control so here w a s d strafe left and right and move forward and backwards just moving my mouse with hold holding nothing down moves the camera i can press alt i don't have to hold it down and i get a mouse cursor so that i can click i can either uh, click on the the name and boom it auto paths there or i can mouse over my abilities to see what each of them do F is my interaction key, spacebar becomes the the almost default enter to accept quests and turn in quests. So let's take a look at the interface real quick. Upper left hand side, I've got my health and I've got my MP. I've also got some mode of operation, so if I want to change at any point, I can. And I've got an additional menu in the upper right with some odd uh, or some additional functionality. Characters keep getting stuck, click to open battleware mode, strange environment teleports, are you stuck? So some of those like emergency abilities are up here and then it's showing you some of our currencies and core stats along the top. I kind of dig this actually really. Uh, showing some of this information right on the screen here. Switch paths becomes useful later when we decide how we want to path down through the rest of our selections here. Uh, and then we've got some additional menus and additional menus in the lower right-hand corner. Lower right-hand corner is the stuff you're probably looking for. Your character, your stats, your bags, your auctions, your guild, your friends list, your chats, uh, your PvP, your dungeon queuing, all that kind of stuff's in the lower right-hand corner. We've got two hot bars above that that we can socket anything by default it puts your things like teleports and potions in there and your key your main hot bars right in the middle of the screen so i've got broken array causes 57 physical damage after charging half a second it will hit the opponent and knock them back five meters and that's in hot slot one 
Uh, hot slot two is a knockdown that you can see here. Let's angle the camera up a little bit. You can see happens in kind of a semicircle or a half circle AOE in front of me. There are abilities just like in a uh, this type of game that has this soft targeting action combat system that are always going to hit. It doesn't matter if you're aiming them correctly. And then there are abilities like this that have the telegraph that you do have to aim correctly. Left mouse button is heroic strike. So that hits everything in front of me, and uh, right mouse button is a tornado sweep all around me. So let's get started here. Let's go kill some things and do some action. Spacebar jumps. And each character, well, I'm just noticing this, so uh, my sword mage has a double jump. So I can double jump in air. It looks like this character has a type of additional height jump uh, on the second jump on the ground. It doesn't look like I can trigger it in midair. No, so it's it's just a second jump off of the ground. You also get into gliding and very, very, uh, f very uh, fancy and um, very uh, pretty looking attacks. All right, come on. Give me the quest. I've seen you do it. Yep, skip, 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 accept. Skip, 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 accept. All right, click tab. Now I can lock on to that dummy like this if I don't... If I escape out of that tab targeting, yes, I know. And I've got my little crosshairs right in front of my name, which you can see there. So let's mouse click and just holding this down. Boom, 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 boom. Now notice a couple of things are happening. Obviously, the health bar above the practice post is going down. But you may have noticed a small bar increasing right here on the screen. Now that's going to charge special moves, which we don't have any yet, but once we get them, that is the meter that is charging special moves. If that meter fills up, you're able to use your special moves. You're gonna level up pretty quickly off the start here. Pressing shift puts me into a sprint mode. Oh, she's out here. Skipping all this quest text for you. And this is where you're first going to notice. I love the way this little menu works. Look, I think that's just so cool. Like this angled window. You got new equipment. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and equip that. And see, it does change on your character. So no problem there, too. Uh, so by pressing shift and putting yourself in that sprint mode, you do get a meter right there. Your 100 meter, and that'll go down as you sprint or jump or glide or direct fall or whatever, and then will regenerate over time. And now this is where the menus start to get wild. Like, let's even take a look at just the screen menu for your settings. See, all of it, it's not all translated yet. Now, if you mouse over it, an item it does have an English description of what it is so like this I had you have to mouse over to figure out that this first one is your overall high medium low type graphics setting uh, mousing over all of these other things will tell you what they are but the labels themselves have not been translated yet and that happens in a lot of places throughout the game what do we have to do for this quest get to the, the banners all right my mini-map in the upper right-hand corner, I'm sure you may have noticed by now, this one can't be skipped, does show you little icons on the map where your quests are, or your quest targets are. Um, so you can just rush right to them. You can also, of course, click in the uh, on the quest text as well. So in this case, I've got to kill three of these guys. I'm going to go over here and tab through a couple of these. Now look, these targets are already claimed. They've already been tagged. But I get my hit in there, and it does count, see? So we do have a target sharing system going on as far as your quest targets go. I could just hold down left mouse here and just hit everything. And now that we've got a bunch of stuff piled up, I will go ahead and there, there's my leveled up. Great. See my combo meter. Getting new achievements along the way, too. Here is the special move meter I told you about. So we're charging that as well. And I get my free gift. Since I've been on for five minutes, I get a couple items. And both of those are in English. Awesome. So I can actually see what those items do. On my mini-map, you can see where my, my quest target is by clicking there. Whoops, that's not my quest target. My quest target's right there. By clicking on my mini-map, it does auto-path me there as well. 
So yay, if you like the auto-pathing, you got a couple options here. No idea, there's lots of those dialogue boxes that have nothing in them. Alright. Mouse through. Yay. Click here to use helper whenever you have a question. This will take you out to the uh, website that is helpful uh, if you are not an English speaker because it's just not in English yet. So <laughs> not much to be found there, is, at least in my cursory examination of the helper website. And see, we are leveling up like crazy. Easiest leveling ever. Easiest leveling ever. Oh, still got to talk to somebody there. Oh, I got to interact with this. Now, I am going to skip this cutscene. I think I can skip this one. So here's the menu that I was telling you about. If you don't watch it, you're not going to get those points that you can then spend on rare items. So really, they want you to watch the cutscenes. They put in the work. They want you to watch them. All right, we'll press shift. This is, I love this. Look at the running. <laughs> like when you when you turn, they look like they're fucking ice skating. They like shift their entire body weight. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> all right, so now my levity is all the way down. So we basically have nothing left. And before we switch over to my other character to show you some uh, gameplay at a little bit of higher level and get out of these areas that have a ton of people in them. I will say one thing, servers have been pretty stable besides them taking it down on purpose. I mean, there are a lot of people here, and I get the occasional frame, frame rate drop, but it is nothing that's unbearable or absolutely a deal breaker or anything. But I do want to show you something that I thought was uh, mildly amusing. I got tricked into thinking that uh, they were uh, that there were quick time events. And there may be somewhere else in the game, but I'm going to show you right here. Accept this quest. Damn, just leveling and leveling and leveling. Now, I'm going to tell you, I'm not touching anything right now. And I'm going to let this cutscene air because it's going to show you some of the more acrobatic aerial type movements. And I got tricked into thinking this was a cutscene that was a quick time event. I didn't press space. It just does it. Now I will, let's see, here I'll show you. You saw how long that it sat there on that space. If you press Shift and W, it will advance the scene so that you can, here, boom, just, so you are in a quick time event, I guess? You can make those presses and the scene will go just a little bit faster for you uh, while it's teaching you these controls, like how to quick fall here with S, but it's, you can't lose, it's not a, it's just going to show you the button for a little longer. So, kind of a faux quick time event. Alright. And this cannot be skipped. Here comes our partner in crime for the next who knows how long. I've been taking quests from him for a while now. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to log out. Um, last time this did not work, so we'll see if login again works this time. Last time it did not. It kicked me to the server select menu, and there was nothing there. Again, it says close beta 1. I feel like it's more of a late alpha, uh, just because there's there's a lot that isn't quite there yet. So there's a system in the game. See, it did it again. Refresh? No. Refresh. Refresh, 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 refresh. Enter, 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 enter. All right. We're going to have to come right back. All right, we're back as my sword mage. Now, one of the things I did want to mention here is that the game does have a lot of... Uh, systems so there's lots of upgrades like uh, your classes have multiple forms like my sword mage here can use fire storm and water spells so you can see I could cycle through the three and you play the stacking elements game and stacking those elements 
these may, these abilities may have different effects. Now, even the other class that we were just watching does also have a swappable ability there that may change some of their abilities. I just hadn't gotten the abilities yet to show you, like I just did on the Sword Mage. Also, though, there's an awful lot of subsystems uh, as far as advancement goes. So, first we have our path, but can't do anything until we reach level 29, so there's some customization there. We do have the ability to craft and join different factions, but then not only that, our skills and our, of course, our inventory, uh, our weapons and things like that we can augment, but we can follow our little trees here for combat skills, special skills, which I have one unlocked, Star Sword Judgment, and flying star sword judgment and flying skills as well. Using your special skills is what will cause you to level them up. So you want to use them every time you have that meter or you're in a boss fight or whatever. Just any time you can. So let's do some questing. Let's take a look around. Now, I've done some of these quests already, but there was a bit of a rollback, and I actually got stuck on the boat initially. Uh, by the way, if you were part of that, the answer to that, if you're stuck on the trader ship that happens between the training zone and this zone, uh, you got past it, and then when the servers came back up, you were stuck. Uh, the way to get through that is to press L and bring up your quest uh, quest log, go to available, and the next quest that you've already done, probably, is available there for you to accept. Go ahead and accept it, and it'll automatically teleport you off the trader boat. Yep, I learned it the hard way, so I'll teach it to you the easy way. <laughs> Somebody was in love. Damn, baby. I'm still able to read the quest text, which is good. Alright, keep going. Press shift. Now see here, I can double jump and then glide. Look at that, I can just keep going. Oh, I ran out of levity, so I couldn't go any higher. But now I'm up on the roof, baby. Up on the roof. I'm supposed to be inside here. It is now nighttime in Salon. The sun rises at daybreak. So we got day-night cycles going on. I wonder what that impacts, like uh, shops or things like that. Come on. Talkie, talkie, talkie. I will tell you who it is. I have gained, you know, I'm level 16, almost level 17. And I have done almost no combat now i've already done this trial of the four kings and i'm glad i'm doing it now so that you guys can really see some of the combat here and then we'll tie up this first look <clears throat> but there's not a lot of combat going on at these early levels it is they are setting up a storyline for you brothers and sisters so if you like the lore then you know, this this may be up your alley because they are really setting up a storyline there's not a ton of combat, and you can see I've only, in 16, 17 levels, I've only gained like one or two different abilities. Alright, so we're going to start here a four trial test to prove our worth. And now they kind of showed you, shown, had just shown you what goes on there, and they tell you, look at the objective notifications. I'm going to get hit here because I was pointing to it, but I can't read that since it's not in English. But we saw what they basically want us to do. Get him to charge into one of these things. So this guy, I don't even have to worry about combat. Just nuke him down like that the smart way. See, now that was not... That is not Chinese. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Alright. So, this is certainly not English. Alright, second trial. I wish I knew what he was telling me. That, okay, so one of them is for real, and the rest of them are imposters. Alright, so who's the real one? That's who I'm targeting. Uh, we'll go with you. Alright, left mouse just shoots my... Electricity. Now I can switch out of storm and go into fire. 
and shoot fireballs. So my left mouse ability has changed the type of damage that it does. Or I could go into ice and change that as well. Now I do have my special ability working, but first we're gonna cause a huge storm right here. And we'll use ability three. And that clearly was not the right target that I needed. So let's throw down some uh, some more ice. Notice that uh, the way my resources work, I'm gaining elements in the middle by using my left mouse button and then spending them and mana for various other abilities. Right, let's swap to Storm since I like that one the best. Use left mouse and right mouse. Got that. I'm going to go ahead and use my special ability over here since we got a couple of them grouped up. Can I kind of pull this one? Come on over here. Perfect. Now F1. Yeah. I love the dot effect in this game. Watch. Boom. Boom. You can see them being shocked each second with the dot damage. I, I think that's very, very cool. Not just a tick of damage numbers. You can actually see it impacting the character model and the monster model itself. Love it. Love it. This is still the Dirt Warrior. Now, I can also use, like, Shift and A and Shift and D uh, and all kinds of combinations of Shift to do dodging. So if they lay down some type of ability that has a, uh, you know, a telegraph, I do have the ability to react and get out of it. Now, my left mouse button, so this is the soft target I'm talking about, I don't necessarily have to be looking directly at them. See how I'm kind of linked to them? And then if I tab, it'll lock on that square. So I could face this way and still do it. Turning around won't do it. I still have to be relatively, <laughs> at least facing the mob. But then other abilities, let's like let's fire number four. See, that's a direct hit ability as well. But t some of the abilities that have the telegraphs, not a direct hit. Also, abilities can be charged. So take a look at our right mouse button, and it tells you that if we have our locked target, we have a, cha a chanting time. Uh, our left mouse, we have the ability to do that, and we have the ability to charge things. So let's use our number one and charge this bad boy. So you're just holding down and triggering it. I, actually, I don't think that was the ability I thought it was. Uh, 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 element use cold stacks, second stage. No, that's a different stage. Do I have one that I can charge and show you? Let's switch to storm. No. Trust me, though, you can charge certain abilities by holding the mouse key down. All right, final. Is this the third one? All right, so this is what I got to do here. Obstacle course. All right, so I just got to make it across. Got to pay attention to the cutscenes, especially when the translations aren't in English. All right. And they don't give me the ability to use my levity. Um, well, that was really easy. Um, seriously, nothing happened. Was, was something supposed to happen there? I got achievement. I don't... It looked like when he did it, there were... Orbs that came out. But they, they didn't come out when I was here. I just got to run across. Alright, let's head to the fourth trial. Fourth and final trial. Big fight. Oh, yeah. Alright, looks like I'm just gonna have to beat this guy up. Doesn't look like there's any trick to it. But, does look like I'm gonna have to dodge a little bit if the animation there was any indication. Alright, so hasn't hit me with anything special yet. Let's see if he drops some telegraphs. There's one. I'm out of that in plenty of time. I like my storm element, so I'm going to go back to that. I don't know why, I just like it. Still outside of that telegraph. Now you can see the target's uh, health at the top of the screen, and right next to it, target of target. These are all the default settings, by the way, so all of these things can be changed if you want to. I'm leaving it on default as you would see it. Double tap to get out of that. I don't think I made it out of time, out in time there, though, because I was popping off my special ability. 
Right in between. Oh, we'll get out of that and that by double tapping A or D. I am injured though, so they want me to use a potion. That's not gonna happen. I can use my special ability again, so we'll trigger that. F1. Boom! And that'll do it. Go us! We have completed the trials. I don't know what I'm confirming there. But that's Revelation Online, gang, and we're just scratching the surface. So please do not consider this a comprehensive full first look at the game. I just wanted to get you guys a taste of what is in store for Western audiences as they start tackling the content here. We've still got dungeons, we've got PvP, but there's leveling that's got to be done first in this particular game to access those. I mean, you don't even get your wings until level 30, and you saw that our paths and stuff don't start until level 20. 29. So they do want you to play some of this story first. I'm okay with it in this case because you do level very quickly to open up with. Now I'm sure that that's going to slow down over time, but initially it seems like they're at least getting you uh, to that level 29, that level 30, very quickly by feeding you the story that's going on. If you want to check out Revelation Online right now, the closed beta test one is going to go on for a couple weeks while, while I slide around like an ice skater. Uh, it's going to be running for a couple of weeks. You can get the uh, beta keys at some sites, some giveaways. Uh, of course, the guaranteed way to get it is to get a Founders Pack. I'd probably say, though, as a personal recommendation, even if you're interested in Revelation Online and you like what you see so far, I'd probably wait on a Founders Pack until Closed Beta Test 2. Closed Beta Test 1 just has an awful lot going on that makes it kind of challenging to, to play. Uh, and I'll just give you a perfect example. If I could find the skill encyclopedia, where is that? Can I remember where that hell that thing is? I mean, there's literally menus that are fully not translated at all, and I'm not going to sit here and search for it. So I'd probably recommend waiting until the next closed beta test if you want to sink some money down in your Founders Pack. But this is, a, I, hope, I hope, at least giving you a flavor of what the game is going to be as I throw my body weight into going left and right. Until next time, gang, this is Magic Man saying stay safe. We'll see you on the server. <laughs>